this video, Adam and I have three doors to choose from. Each door has a different Pokemon behind it. Without knowing which Pokemon is behind which, we have to pick a door. To help us out, each door has the Pokemon's Pokedex entry on top of it. All right, so here are my three doors. We have gray, purple, and green. And by the way, each of the color of these doors represent the color of the Pokemon inside. So we kind of get two hints. We get the Pokedex entry and the color of the Pokemon. All right, so we have three doors right here with the Pokemon descriptions and the color. This Pokedex entry is, it apparently wishes for a traveling companion. Since it was once human itself, it tries to create one by taking the lives of other humans. Bro, what the heck? So this Pokemon on the left used to be a human, and now it takes the lives of other humans to try to become one again. Ugh. First up, we have Yellow. When it is angered, it immediately discharges the energy stored in the pouches in its cheeks. Hey, yo! Oh my god, it's got energy stored in his cheeks? I'd love to know what this Pokemon is. I wonder what cheeks they talking about. They talking about these cheeks? Oh, these cheeks! What is cheek? I'm gonna guess these cheeks. I'm gonna guess that that's Voltorb. Okay, and the middle one is purple, and its Pokedex entry is... When it folds up its body and extends its wings, it looks like a jet plane. It flies at sonic speed. Oh, okay. What could that possibly be? Something that flies and is really, really fast. I'm thinking like Latios or Latios. The color of the door doesn't really correlate. So, Voltorb is trash. I'm gonna move on to the second guy, which is purple. Ooh, I like purple. Most legendaries are purple. That is a fact. Okay. A Pokemon created by recombining genes. It's said to have the most savage heart among Pokemon. This is probably gonna be the Pokemon that I choose. I'm gonna guess that this is probably Dialga. That's probably Dialga or, wait, is Dialga purple? Purple legendary. The most savage heart. So it's either Rayquaza, Dialga, or Mewtwo. That might be Mewtwo. I think that's Mewtwo. That's probably Mewtwo. Okay, the one on the right is a light green and it has lived for hundreds of millions of years in the ozone layer. Wait a second, wait a second. I think I have an idea of what that might be. And that is definitely going to be the door that I'm going to choose. I think we might have a Rayquaza behind that one. Think about it. It's lived for 100 years in the ozone layer that's up in the sky. And it's green. All right, next up. It can instantaneously sense its opponent's movements by feeling air currents with its fine fur. What? This one's probably Jigglypuff, I'm going to guess. All right, that one's trash. So I'm going to open up the other doors first and see what I missed out on before I open up the green one. On the left, which is the ghost creepy one. Oh, it's a Gengar. Okay. So Gengar used to be a human. I didn't even know that. In the middle, we have... Oh, a guard shop. Oh, okay. If this is not a Rayquaza on the right, I'm going to be really upset because both of these Pokemon are extremely strong. But come on, please show me Rayquaza. Please, please, please. Three, two, one. Yes! Come on! Let's go! What a great start. We kick things off with one of the strongest Pokemon, if not the strongest Pokemon in the entire game. Rayquaza, let's go. That one's Voltorb Trap. We're gonna get Mewtwo in the center. Okay, let's see what this one is. Oh, it's Pikachu. Oh, okay. Thank God we didn't get that one. That one's trash. Okay, let's see this one. Here we go. Oh, no. That looks like a legendary or an evolution. That's what is that? Slivion? Oh, okay. That guy looks really good. Please tell me this is Mewtwo. Please. Oh, let's go. Let's go. We got it, baby. I flipping knew it. I flipping knew it. I am too smart at this game. Alec doubted me. Okay, we clearly got the best option out of all of them. This is going to be a great video for me. Comment down below Team Dirt Boy right now to join my team. If you do not, you automatically join the Sirens team. And he's going down, so you don't want to do that. Dirt Boy, I just opened up my first door. I got something spicy, something real good. Oh, hey, what's up, Siren? Uh, I was actually just about to catch my Pokemon that I got. Please tell me you didn't get the middle door. No way. Nah, there's actually no way that you got Mewtwo. You're kidding. You're actually kidding. Well, look who I got. I got a Rayquaza. Boy. So oh, yeah. Just as good as yours. Yours is just like the fatter version of mine. What? But mine's way more powerful. You two could destroy Rayquaza. I don't know Let's about go. that. I don't know about that. I thought that this was Voltorb. It was Pikachu. When it's angered, it immediately... Well, you gotta remember as well, the color is the color of the Pokemon. Voltorb is not yellow. It's white and red. He's not, yep. Like that, yep. Ding dong! Ding dong! Is anyone home? Is anyone in that little brain? Is anyone in that little brain? <laughs> All right. In round number two, we have red, orange, and green. I kind of want to pick the green one again, bro, because it was 
so good for us last time, but okay. So the red one is a Pokemon that has been admired since the past for its beauty. A red Pokemon that has been admired for its beauty. Delphox, maybe? Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't really see Pokemon in that way. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if I can say like it's pretty or beautiful. Low Pony Gardevoir. I mean, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. All right, next up, we got three doors. My eye immediately shoots to the blue one. I don't know why. Sometimes I just get a scent. Here we go. Very lazy, just eats and sleeps. That's Alec. That is Alec. No, he's not blue though. He's He would be under the red section. I don't know why they would put him under this. The orange doors description is an extremely rarely seen marine Pokemon. Its intelligence is said to match the one of humans. I think I have an idea of what that is because I've done some Pokedex videos before. And this I think is a Dragonite. I think it might be. Okay, uh, next up. It can clear a 30 story building in a leap. It's fiery punches score its foes. Whoa. It can clear a 30 story building. That means it could jump like a million feet. How many feet are per story? 30 times, let's say 19 per story. Then 30 times 9 to That's like a thousand feet. All right. This one is definitely at the top of my list right now. And it's red. Red Pokemon are always good. Huh. I don't know though. Is it a frog? What what Pokemon are frogs? Because only a frog can leap 30 stories, but it's red. Red frog. Red frog. Cinderace. And then on the right, we have a green Pokemon. It is said they were born when a chemical reaction occurred between an abandoned trash bag and industrial waste. That sounds like trash, which to me sounds like Garbodor, which is green. So I think the right's Garbodor. The middle, I think, is Dragonite. And the left, I still don't know. A Pokemon that has been admired since the past for its beauty. Okay, next up, a pink Pokemon. It's probably Jigglypuff. It's probably Jigglypuff. It sings a pleasing melody that lulls the foals to sleep. That is, that, that's Jigglypuff. That's gotta be Jigglypuff. I love me some Jigglypuff. <laughs> Jigglypuff. Oh, wait. That would be a pretty sick move to add to my collection. I know this is Jigglypuff, but I might still add this to my team just because it's move where it can put foes to sleep. It's too good to give up. You know what I'm saying? I might take that home with me. That's crazy. If I can use that in real life, one can only dream. Okay, we're down to three here. We have Alec on the left. We have probably Cinderace in the middle. And then we have Jigglypuff on the right. I don't know. I would love to have a Dragonite, but I already have Rayquaza, which is Dragon Flying. So I don't know if I want two of them on my team, but I also think that the other two are probably really bad, so I'm gonna go with hopefully Dragonite right in the middle. It's just not the best to have two of the exact same typings on your team. Anyway, I think this is gonna be Garbodor. Oh, it's a Trubbish. All right, same thing, same evolution line. So I'm glad that I didn't pick that. This one, I literally have no idea. Red Beauty. Ooh, Arcanine. Okay. I did not know that this was a, like a beautiful Pokemon, but I guess I could see it. And then in the middle, please show me a Dragonite. Yes, sir. Let's go, dude. So we have Rayquaza and Dragonite on the team. We're looking pretty good for this final battle. I really want to pick Jigglypuff, but I have to win this game. So I'm going to go with the middle one. Here we go. Let's open up. Let's see what we could have got. Oh, it's, it is Jigglypuff. It is Jigglypuff. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, let's see. Let's see door number blue. We have Alec. Oh, it's Snorlax. Oh, okay, yeah, that's pretty much the same thing as Alec. Okay, the Siren is Snorlax. All right, this is who we got. It's Cinderace. It's Cinderace. Oh, it's Blaziken. <laughs> Let's go. That is for sure the best out of, out of these three. Oh my gosh, I knew it. I'm doing so flipping good. I'm already two for two, baby. All right, round number three, we have three like kind of similar colors, I guess. We have a, we have a dark gray, a dark green, and a light gray. Okay, so the dark gray's Pokedex entry is when agitated, this Pokemon protects itself by spraying poisonous sweat from its pores. What the heck is that? That sounds, it's gotta be some sort of poison type Pokemon if it's spraying poisonous sweat from its pores, but I can't think of one that's gray. Maybe, um, Salandit, right? Saland, maybe Salandit. It could be that. Um, what else could that even be? Our team's looking very sharp right now. We have a level 80 Mewtwo and a level 42 Blaziken. Why are all the colors are the same? We have blue, pink, and red. The pink ones are always terrible. I'm never picking a pink one. That's like Jigglypuff. That's like the, the little nurse little thing at the hospital. Those things are good at healing and putting things to sleep. They're not good at fighting. I'm battling Alec at the end of this, and why would I pick anything that's pink? Pink means stupid. Okay, 
look. I mean, look around. This guy, red, purple, blue, orange, not a pink. And these are some of the strongest Pokemon in the game. All right, let's see blue. It crushes its foes under its heavy body to cause fainting. That sounds good. That sounds really good. That kind of sounds like Bowser. I know Alec did some sort of Mario Pokemon. That might be Bowser. But wait, Bowser's red. Unless he's trying to trick me. Crushes its foes under its heavy body to cause fainting. I feel like I'm trying to solve a riddle. Foe, toe, low, no mo, yo mama. Alex mom is cute. That doesn't rhyme. <sighs> it crushes its foes under its heavy body to cause fainting. That might be Snorlax again. I wouldn't put it past them to put Snorlax in twice in a row. They are not going to fool me today. That is Snorlax. Okay. In the middle, for the green one, the Pokedex entry is its body can't be harmed by any sort of attack, so it is very eager to make challenges against its enemies. Its body can't be harmed by any sort of attack, so it is very eager to make challenges against enemies. What? Wait, so this thing is immune to attacks? What could that possibly be? I literally have no idea. Um, It's green. It's immune to a lot of attacks. Or it says it can't be harmed by any sort of attack. I don't understand. That sounds like the most broken Pokemon ever. There we go, the pink one. I'm barely, I'm not even gonna read this. This is trash. So rare that it's still said to be a mirage by many experts. Yeah, that's, yeah, I'm sure it's another Jigglypuff. Pink Pokemon can never be good. Mark my words, they're, they're absolute trash. Okay, and the light gray door says one arm alone can move mountains. I think that could be Machamp, but it has four arms. I guess that's maybe why they include the fact that like, with, with, with one of its many arms, it can move entire mountains. I don't know who else that would be. Conkelder, maybe? Red. It has a body with the hardness of steel. Is that Onyx? When did Onyx turn red? It has a body with the hardness of steel. Oh, that might be Groudon. Oh my gosh. Oh my. It's all clicking. It's all clicking. Groudon has those like little scale things that are, if you try and punch it, your hand would break. That's how hard it is. Okay, that is Groudon. I'm going with red. That has to be it. Dude, this is like the first round that I really feel like I have no idea what any of these are. When agitated, this Pokemon protects itself by spraying poisonous sweat from its pores. What is that? I think I'm going to take the middle one just because of its Pokedex entry. Its body can't be harmed by any sort of attack? That sounds so OP, but I am very curious to see what they all are. So let's check out what this one is. Oh, an Umbreon. When agitated, this Pokemon sprays itself. This Pokemon protects itself by spraying poisonous sweat from its pores. I had no idea that that would be Umbreon's Pokedex entry. It's not even poison type. I don't, that's weird. Okay, but one arm alone moves mountains. That is Machamp. Okay, so we guessed that one right. And then this middle one, I literally have no idea what it is, but it sounds epic. So let's see. Three, two, one. Tyranitar! Let's go! I probably should have thought about that. Its body can't be harmed by any sort of attack except for fighting moves. Hello? Like Machamp would destroy you in one shot, but I will take that. I think that's three guesses in a row that I got perfect. Like the best Pokemon of all three doors. Okay, let's see. Door number one, blue. We have Snorlax. Oh, Blastoise. That's, yeah, that's pretty much. That is a Snorlax with a water cannon. I mean, he is just ridiculously fat. I don't understand. He needs to cut back on the water chips. Yeah, okay, I'm fine. I can Blastoise. He's trash. All right, pink. Let's see what I missed out on here. No. No, it's Mew. Actually, Mew's small and kind of looks dumb. I'm fine not having Mew. Mew looks too cute to be powerful, which is what I said with all pink Pokemon. They're not powerful. I'm not winning any battles with Mew. Okay, let's see what I got under door number red. I thought it was Groudon. That's not Groudon. That's not Groudon. Who even is this? Who the flip even is this? Is this a Pokemon? No. No, 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 no. This was Groudon. This was supposed to be Groudon. This was my legendary round. Oh, crap. I could have got Mew. I got flipping this guy. I got a dude with 18 eyeballs. Gosh, his claws do look pretty cool, though. No way. That's not even a real Pokemon. I mean, come on. What is that? It has a body with the hardness of steel? That's supposed to mean a good thing. Like, that means that he's pretty powerful. He looks like a bug. Like, I can literally snap this guy in half. What do you mean he's got the body as hard as steel. I think his name's Skizzer. The flip is his name. It is Skizzer. Oh my gosh. It is Skizzer. Oh, my team was going so strong with the Mewtwo, but now we got Skizzer. Skizzer might be a legendary. I'm not exactly 100% sure. I do know Mew is a legendary, but as I said before, Mew looks too cute and too cuddly to be powerful. So I'm actually glad. I, I'm honestly more upset that I didn't get Blastoise because that dude's a tank. All right, let's move on to the next one. Oh, okay. So now we have three very vibrant colors, blue, red, and green. On the left, we have it can sometimes Sometimes knock out opponents with the shock created by breaching and crashing its body into water. 
Okay, so that has to be a water type. I mean, it is blue as well, so it's gotta be a big water Pokemon. It's, could it be Kyogre? Maybe it's Kyogre, guys. That could be, what if, what if it's Kyogre, Groudon, and Rayquaza? Bro, that'd be insane. Door number four. Okay, I'm gonna have to speed this up a little bit. Time to get out my super reading skills. Blue, with four brains, it has the intelligence of a supercomputer. I could use that. I could use some brains. I could definitely use that. Okay, so the Red Doors Pokedex description says, this Pokemon has a violent, selfish disposition. If it's not in the mood to listen, it will ignore ignore its trainer's orders with complete nonchalance. Okay. I don't know if I want a Pokemon that doesn't even listen to me. Oh, here we go. I have I have another one. This is this is like the smart round. Here we go. 100 IQ. Yellow. Its brain cells multiply can continually until it dies. As a result, it remembers everything. That's pretty cool. And then on the right, it says this Pokemon wanders across time. Whoa! Grass and trees flourish in the forest in which it has appeared. Dude, that sounds like it could be Celebi or it could be like Shaman. This Pokemon wanders across time? What are we talking about? That sounds insane. I feel like I already have a lot of green Pokemon on my team with Rayquaza and Tyrantar, but I, I don't know. That sounds so sick. I have no idea what this red one is either. If you guys have any idea of these when I don't, make sure to comment them down below because if you know them, that's kind of crazy. You guys are cracked. Okay, now we have dark blue. He creates throwing stars out of compressed water. These stars can split metal into two. Okay, we're gonna get, that's, that's for sure star you. I know that for a fact. Okay, and then we have with four brains. <laughs> I thought it said four brain cells. Then it would have been Alex. It has the intelligence of a supercomputer. That's kind of, I mean, come on. That's easy peasy. That is easy peasy. If four brains. Are you kidding me? That's the smartest Pokemon in all of the lands. I'm going with that one. But I don't know if this is lame of me. I'm going to go with the green door again. It seems like the green doors have been amazing for me. I'm going to go with it again. I think it could be a legendary Pokemon because not many Pokemon can wander across time. That being said, let's see what we missed out on with, oh, the blue one is a whale lord. Not too bad. And honestly, that Pokedex entry does make a lot of sense. Now let's see what this red Pokemon is that doesn't even obey orders from its trainer. Oh, Incineroar! I really wish I got that. I'm not gonna lie. That Pokemon is sick. It looks so cool. Okay, now for the moment of truth. Now that we know that we actually missed on an Incineroar, which would have been cool, this Pokemon better be a legendary, or I think I probably picked the wrong door for this one. But let's see what it is in three, two, one. Boom, boom, mwah, mwah. let's go, baby, Celebi. I, I honestly might rather have Incineroar than Celebi, but it's a legendary or a mythical. I don't know. Either way, it's cool. And I don't think that's a miss. I think I'm right now. I'm four for four with getting amazing Pokemon. Let's go. Okay, let's see what I could have got. Okay, Abraka, boop, don't need you. Oh, Greninja. Oh. I'm actually really sad about that. I thought that was Star You. Okay, let's see what I got. This is the smartest Pokemon in the universe. Are you kidding me? This is a supercomputer. No, this is what comes out of my butt after I drink flipping caffeine. You gotta be kidding me. Where does he even fit his four brains? I can fit my one brain inside of his four. I'm smarter than this guy. Don't even look at me. Nah, I don't even want this guy. All right, moving on to our fifth door of choice. We got poop brown green again i have we gotten green every single round except for the second one i almost feel like i should pick green instantly at this point but then we also have white okay 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 let's go ahead and uh hear these pokedex entries out maybe it'll change my mind all right the brown one says it may mutate if it is exposed to radiation from elemental stones okay i think i have a good idea of what is behind door number one and it rhymes with t See what I did there? That was actually off the top of my head. I'm pretty impressed with that. Ooh, orange, Alec. Okay, we're gonna start with the orange one. Spits fire that is hot enough to melt boulders, known to cause forest fires unintentionally. Gotta be Charizard. Any fire Pokemon that's orange, I'm automatically thinking Charizard. All right, all right, I'll keep that in mind. I love Charizard. That could be our flying Pokemon. That's how we get around. Anyway, the green door says, if it senses impending danger to its trainer, this Pokemon is said to unleash its psychokinetic energy at full power. That sounds sick. It also sounds like it's probably Probably, it's got to be a psychic type if it's unleashing psychokinetic energy. What is a green psychic type? Celebi is, but we have that already. I, I still can't think of a psychic Pokemon that is green. It sounds pretty epic, though. And I like green. Green has never failed me yet, so I might go for that. By reading the Awas, of all things, it can tell how others are feeling from over half a mile away. Oh, that reminds me of, like, a shark. You know how, like, when you bleed in the ocean, a shark can actually sense your blood from a mile away. 
away. I don't really know if that's gonna help me in battle, though. I want Pokemon that are spitting flames, like that Charizard over there. I can't eat scrap. I don't know what Pokemon this would be. Reading the auras? But anyway, for the white door, it says, it is told in mythology that this Pokemon was born before the universe existed. I think I know what's inside of this door! Let's go! Okay, okay, okay. I'm not gonna say what I think it is. I think we can all hypothesize. We can all theorize what is inside of this door. I'm actually gonna ask Adam if he wants to come over and open it, but before that happens, uh, I wanna open the poop door, which I believe is Eevee, and it is! Bada bing, bada boom, baby! And then we have the green door, which is apparently a psychic type Pokemon. Oh, Gardevoir! Yep, I definitely missed on that one. Was not thinking Gardevoir at all. Adam, hey Adam, can you TP to me? I want you to open up this door for me. It's it's a very important door. And how are you uh, feeling, Alec? I feel good. I could sense that. I could f I could read your aura. Do you know what Pokemon also does that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Crap. <laughs> I thought you would give me a hint by accident. Um, let me think. It can feel your aura. Yeah. Nope, yeah, I, 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 no, I can feel something else. I don't okay, know about the aura. Okay, right, don't be weird. All right, no, but for real, I opened up my two doors already. I picked the white door, so whatever's behind door number three is what I'm going to get. And I think I have a little inkling of what it might be. And I, I, I just want you to do the honors for me. That's Dude, all. Dude, that's not even fair. That index clearly, like, who else would pick any other color? White is superior for Pokemon. There actually are a lot of really strong white Pokemon. And, I know. And Look, there's Pokemon. a Luke. Yeah, right there. And there's a Mewtwo right here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I, Show me the money. Yep, I am. Show me the money. No. no I'm Show not me what it. I want. Not, Show I'm, me my prize. I'm not doing it. I'm Show leaving. me my prize. I, I, no. Show me my prize. I'm Show me my fine. prize. Yes. No. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Maybe I can get it. Adam, that's a statue. That's just a statue. That's just a statue. <laughs> Let's go, bro. We just got an Arceus. I mean, our team. Can it even get better? I literally have no idea if it's even possible. I think that we guessed right every single time. I love this game. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. That's right. That is Cyrus Arceus right there. Come on. Don't play with me. Don't play with me, dirt boy. Okay. Alec doesn't know what that is unless he does, but he's not telling me because it's very powerful. I'll keep that in mind. Okay. Last up, we have light blue. Huge and vicious. It is capable of destroying entire cities in a rage. Why would I choose any other Pokemon? I'm trying to win a battle here. We're going with light blue. Let's see. Okay, this is clearly a Charizard. Yeah, we knew that. We knew that. Okay, okay. Oh, Lucario! No! It was Lucario? I thought it was gonna be a trash Pokemon, like a flipping Caterpie. All right, Alec, your turn. Come over here. Are you making me open your door now? Okay, okay. Your fat booty over here. Get that jiggling over here. But you missed out on a Charizard, you idiot! And a Lucario! Oh my gosh! I know this is gonna be the best Pokemon. Look at it. Look Huge at and vicious. It is capable of destroying entire cities I'm in a it's rage. A oh, I know it's what it is. Be a I know what it is. I know what it is. It can destroy is. entire city. Is, what is it? Gyarados? Yeah, it like is. Oh, let's what a go. guess! What a guess on a dirt boy. That let's was go. actually epic. That's the best Pokemon ever. <laughs> that thing is really cool, actually. Is it better than Lucario, probably? Right? Uh, there's yeah. I think all three of these Pokemon are actually similar in battle yeah. abilities. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Good job, Adam. I'm proud of you. You even guessed it, too. That's what I'm most surprised about. Look at Lucario's description. Like, yeah, I can read auras. I was actually thinking Lucario, but I didn't want to yeah, say Yeah, I'm pretty Yeah, I didn't want to say it. Down I was. I was. I have one more Pokemon before I beat your booty. I'm also on my last door, so um, that being said. Wait, before you go, oh. do you want to swap doors? Can I read mine first or no? No. Ah, you have to decide shoot. right now. Fine, fine. I'll switch doors. Oh, like oh my to. gosh. Thank God. I read all my doors. They stink. No, you did not. You. I know how quick you read and you can't read that quick i read all of them in like a second i'm so smart i didn't read any of them anyway we have now swapped the last round doors adam is mine and i have his and there's no green on this one that sucks i've had green every single round pretty much and it's been so good so if this round is bad i blame the no green i also blame adam anyway we have dark gray blue and pink let's see what we got the dark gray one says this pokemon is said to live in a world on the reverse side of ours where common knowledge is destroyed Distorted and strange. I mean, if it doesn't get any more epic than that, I don't know what does. That sentence made no sense, but you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is one of the most epic things I think I've ever read in my entire life. I have a feeling that could be Giratina or Darkrai. It could be one of the two. Let's see. Green. Its short feet are tipped with suction pads that enable it to tirelessly climb slopes and walls. Okay, I've never seen a Pokemon with tires on its feet. This is more of a Transformer than a Pokemon. Climb slopes and walls. Suction pads. Oh, tirelessly. Short feet. 
suction. So this is some sort of leapfrog type Pokemon. I already know it's going to be trash. It's either a leaf. It's either a leaf guy or it's a frog type Pokemon. Either or, they're trash. Next. All right, the middle one is blue and the description is after birth, its back swells and hardens into a shell. That's got to be, that's got to be Blastoise. But it's just after birth, so it, maybe it's just a Squirtle. I think it could just be Squirtle, which I think I'd rather go with the Pokemon that lives in the upside down than Squirtle. It is constantly bothered by headaches. The more its head hurts, the stronger its psychic power. That could be Abracadabra again. That might be Abracadabra. Okay, I don't like that one either. And then on the right, we have a pink Pokemon. Its transformation ability is perfect. However, if made to laugh, it can't maintain its disguise. D I mean, it's gotta be Ditto, right? It's a, it's a Pokemon that can transform in different disguises and it's pink. Pink. I think that's gotta be Ditto. Maybe it's Mew, because I think Mew can transform too, I think. Its feathers glow in seven colors depending on the angle at which they are struck by a light. That is that has gotta be Yoho. Yo, wait, what color is this? Oh my god, that is orange. That is orange. That is Yo-oh. 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 Oh-oh. Oh-oh. Let's go. We needed that. We need a great Pokemon like that to wrap this up. Oh my gosh. That is gonna complete our team right now. All we were missing out on is a flying type Pokemon. I am locking that in. That's gotta be Yo. Oh, 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 oh. With all that being said, I think it's a pretty obvious answer who I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with this gray door on the left, the Pokemon that lives in the upside down. The Poco Loco. So let me go ahead and open up these two doors. It is a Ditto. And is this a Squirtle? It is. Dude, I'm actually on fire right now. And if my fire continues, this one on the left should be a Giratina. Okay, uh, let's open this one first. <laughs> It's a Caterpie. Oh my gosh. Imagine if I opened that door and got that. Oh, that would have been terrible. Let's see this one. Oh, it's a Psyduck. I thought it was Abracadamit again. Okay, good. No, wait, that's actually really good. Adam, if I asked you to do the honors again to open my door, would you do it or no? I do anything you ask me to do. Mm, can you pummel my door open, please? On my way. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I got Squirtle or Ditto. Yeah, oh, both trash. Crazy good. But dude, wait, read, I, read this description on the left. You gave up this door. You read these descriptions and said, I don't want this thing. Are you kidding me? This thing lives in the upside down. That's got to be strong. I think that I actually know what it is. Way too many big words. I don't think there's any, but okay. All right, let's open it. Let's see what you got. <laughs> that is exactly what I thought it was going to be. One more legendary to add to the team. The devil himself. Giratina! Wait, so I have the god Pokemon and I have the devil Pokemon. Every time you open the door, it's like a different type of god. So please, if we do this video again, I'm going to ask you to open all my doors. That, that was awesome. Great job, Adam. Okay, I still have one final door that I haven't opened oh my, yet. And I know it's going to be good because the first two are absolutely trash. <laughs> That's actually a good point. I think the first, like the third one has to be good. Thank gosh we, we switched doors though. It's Feathers no, Glow. In I don't seven, think so oh. because I think this one's a, uh, yo, oh, oh, yo, oh, yo. Oh, yo, oh, yo, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Wait, what's this Pokemon called, Adam? Oh, yo, oh, oh, eh, yo, <laughs> oh, 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 yo. Okay, dude. Wow, my team is looking sharp. Me too. I have every single category locked in. I have the psychic abilities with Mewtwo. I have the fire with Blaziken. I have the sharpness, the the steel sheer power. I have the brains in Metagross. He's got four of them, by the way. I have the destruction in Gyarados, and I have just the overall godlike abilities in yeah, uh, uh, oh. Uh. Thank you for telling me your entire team. Idiot! So dumb! Now I know exactly how to plan and prepare for it. So dumb. It's like always. So how is that possible to live like that? Ugh. And it is time to Okay. Um, we have the matchup of all matchups. A uh, Rayquaza against a Mewtwo. I'm honestly not nervous at all. I think I got this in the bag. I'm not gonna Wait, lie. Wait, what the heck did you just do? I Mega Evolved! <laughs> oh my gosh, that was a possibility? I make up the rules and I'm gonna say yes because oh I make up the gosh. rules. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just saw into the future. I know which move to use now. Oh shoot, dude. I actually, I forgot to put his best move on him, but that's okay. No. It doesn't matter. It does not matter at all. This might, I might get the broomstick out and just sweep your entire team right now. Okay, flying versus flying. That's what we need right now. That actually was not the worst play I've ever seen you do. Now, we gotta burn it up. Good night. <laughs> I, I don't even have a chance to fight. Wait, I died. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh, let's go. Your Mewtwo's future sight hit me on that turn and it killed me. <laughs> oh, 
Let's go. Dude, That's what I needed, baby. That is insane, actually. No, That's I gotta okay. bring out the big guns. I have another dragon. Oh, this is not great again. If I get the first hit here, I'm chilling. Yes. <laughs> Use hyper beam. Oh no, it's over. Adam, um, if you want to put any amount of money on this, uh, on this battle, I'm open. It, whether it's ten thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars, whatever you want it to be, honestly, like whatever you're thinking. Come on, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive, no, stay no, alive. No, 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 no. You no, keep playing, you're keep playing, bro. Keep praying. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna work. Okay, fire V. Oh, okay. The best counter ice. for a fire. Ice. No, no, this is, is not fire. Steel. This is Adam, I'm trying to help you out here. That actually is not terrible though. He's hard as steel. Ooh, wow. Here we go. Here we go. Wait, mm. what happened to his double hit? You, you, that, that, hit tw that hit twice. That hit two times. And it just didn't do that much damage. And you're getting wrecked by my dragons. I pretty much have a full dragon team. Three of my Pokemon are dragons. Oh, you're dead. Oh, no, quick attack. That was actually genius. Yes, that huge. was good. That was good. That was good. Blaze a kitten. It would be a shame, though, Staying if I just alive, had the kid. god Staying of alive. all Pokemon. Oh, crap. I forgot you had him. I do, and I also have the devil Pokemon as well. What did that just, it just actually, said he's going to kill me. Oh, huge hit by Blaziken. Stay okay. alive. Hit him with the quick attack. No, I have extreme speed. That's even faster. No! Ah, okay, final Bozo. Final Pokemon I got going. He destroys cities. <laughs> he can destroy one, one diddly squad Pokemon. That is embarrassing. You realize that my Pokemon destroys entire worlds. Yours does cities. There, there's different levels to this, Adam. It's no, not no, even no, close. No, 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 Let's no. go! No, 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 no. Absolutely destroyed! GG's, Dirt Boy. GG's. I'm the door Pokemon king. You're the door Pokemon loser. <laughs> Put that on your resume. No, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Don't cry. Don't cry. I thought I was gonna be. It's okay. It's okay. No, it's okay, Adam. It's okay. If you guys enjoyed today's video and want to watch another amazing one, you know what to do. Leave a like and click right here to watch that second awesome video.